Hello and welcome. Today I've got for you this very nice looking Heimer B-Class Modern Comfort 680 T680 uh, motorhome on a Mercedes chassis. But that isn't what I want to actually demonstrate. What I'm going to show you now is right here. This happy lounge it's called. It's a way of getting a much larger sitting area in your vehicle using the front two seats to create this lounge which you can see here now uh, this is the company here uh, there you go happy lounge das cockpit sofa bed I leave you a link the owners speak very good English so you could contact them if you're looking for something like this Price is somewhere around 1,800 euros. Now, a few points about this. First of all, as you can see, the advantages are absolutely clear. The very first time I saw this at Dusseldorf, and I thought, that is absolutely brilliant as a way of increasing your sitting, and not only that, sitting comfort as well. Um, the uh, In this case, it doesn't match, I do agree on that one, but uh, there's lots of choices of fabric and uh, colours and now they're working with the motorhome manufacturers, so it will match. Now if it's going to be retrofitted, it might match, so uh, that's something that anybody's interested would have to sort out. Now it will take a weight in the centre of 130 kilos, because obviously the other, the at the sides it's already on the existing uh, chairs. Now, uh, the, it does work better with Agouti seats, that's seats manufactured by Agouti, less well with the ones uh, manufactured, for example, by Mercedes, because they're quite low. Uh, the new ones, I should say, anyway, not, not so much the old ones. But anyway, so that is how what it, what it actually looks like. Let's come over now and have a sit down. And I'll turn the camera around. So, you can see me here sitting down, have a bit of a lounge like this, and, oh, hang on, you want to see me lounging. There you go, place for my feet, I can have the television, oh, there's the television. Television's up there now, you, you, you turn it so sideways. Sometimes the television's here behind the seating group, so the television pops up there. But if there's two of you, uh, yeah, it's really good for lounging on and not only that I think you could actually get three in although three would be a bit of a squash if you want to increase the amount of space around the table as well even in a vehicle like this which I'd say is a, a medium sized vehicle uh, so you've got two seats there uh, I had a friend around at my place because the, the sitting group here is a, more or less the same in my vehicle he, he always wanted to sit there of course I didn't have one of these happy lounges in my vehicle so, uh, to me, I think this is really good. The quality of it seems to be very good. It's hardish. Oh, it's, well, sorry, it's soft, but it's tough, I should say, rather than hard. It's soft, but tough. And there you go. I'll put, see, putting my weight on that. So, it's, it's a very well designed and done piece of uh, equipment. I uh, really, really like this. So... Anyway, what happens is it folds up and it uh, comes in a couple of bags and then you put the bags in the garage. Obviously, you'll need to have the space for the uh, in your garage to actually put the couple of bags in. Um, I think off the top of my head, it weighs 18 kilos. But anyway, I'll be on the, the website. I can't quite remember now. And uh, so here's the uh, brochure for it. There you go. And um, it obviously it's all in German. All, all in German, but as you can see, for example, of this one, uh, this type of arrangement, this is, um, I think that is a Boston, I'm not certain though, it might be an automobile, um, but um, uh, it, all, it all matches up, and there is a selection, as I said, of uh, fabrics and colours, so I think that... Look, whilst I'm here, I'll show you the rest of the van as well. So you might want to see what this looks like. There you go, wonderful. Double floor all the way back. And flat floor at that. We've got a German layout here at the rear. 
and uh, the cost of a vehicle like this, you know, probably 160,000, something like that, and maybe even more, it depends on the equipment levels. But uh, lots of storage here under the bed. Um, if I'd prepared it beforehand, uh, th this also opens up and you can open that up to get into the uh, wardrobe down there. We've also got storage on the other side as well, which you can see in here. Yeah, oh, oops. And uh, steps up in here, we've got a ladder to get up to the bed. When we put this bit here, here, got this plate. Uh, this goes on top, makes a really big bed. There we have the shower, which I shall show you with a bar at the top. Yes, keep your socks dry. And there's a, a piece of paper, which I show you, a little cloth. <laughs> and a duck board in there. And in here we have the toilet. Now my vehicle's a B class as well. Uh, quite honest, I really, really like my vehicle though. I think it's absolutely outstanding. This double floor is is absolutely wonderful, and you've got the storage in here. Uh, it's uh, it's very deep. Just to, I'll demonstrate how deep it is in that because if I if I put my foot in there, you can see there's my knee. So it's just like that much below my knee. It's uh, it's very deep. And so a huge amount of storage in there, but the difference. This is now my second winter in a. A vehicle with a double floor. Oh, I don't know how to describe the difference that it actually makes. It's incredible. Here we've got the uh, three burners and a hob, uh, drawers below, and on this side as well. There's your fridge. Very nice vehicle. Very, very nice vehicle. I'll open these up as well. Well, whilst I'm here, I'll show you the whole thing. But what I really wanted to show you was this happy lounge sofa, uh, be sofa, well, sofa bed. It's a sofa, it was a sofa bed. And uh, anyway, um, if you're interested, there's links below, and um, you, if you want to know how to get one, then uh, they do they speak very good English. Uh, I need to point out uh, I'm not sponsored at all by anything by the, by the company, but the owners are friends of mine, so uh, so there is a bit of bias there. And mind you, if I hadn't believed in the product, uh, I wouldn't be saying anything. That's like number one, and number two is this: I saw the sofa bed before I actually met them. And I even then I said it was great. And I was filming an automobile at Caravan Salon when I, first time I actually saw it. So you can see what I said then, if you don't believe me. Anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching. Hope you found that interesting. All the best from me in Germany.